welcome back to another video so you guys won't believe who is about to leave the eff as he was shown the exit door by the leader himself the cic julius malema you know he said it publicly that they do not need him anymore you know he did not really drop his name directly but he was obviously talking about him and other leaders you know for continuing please me favor do not forget to subscribe my interest in this my channel so guys we all saw how the emotional Julius Malema was throwing attacks and throwing everyone under the bus publicly you know so a lot of people are still shocked by Julius Malema he's currently trending over his latest you know uh, address to the comrades you know so a lot of people were shocked that he was throwing some some of the comrades like Nglozi under the bus listen to what he said it was Martin Luther King Jr who said in the United States as they were confronted by the cruel regime of racism in that country, it was him who declared, open quote, in the end, we will remember not the weight of our enemies, but the silence of our friends, close quote. <laughs> Fellow fighters, as we face this tasty moment in our movement, and are confronted by betrayal of our struggle for economic freedom in exchange for personal gains, we must not bother ourselves about what our enemies are saying, but we must ask ourselves, why are those who claim to be our comrades silent? Why are those who are known and popular to be the most vocal on social media suddenly silent? Why are their voices when our movement is under attack? Where are those loud voices? Why do they not use their platforms to speak in defense of the EFF if they are truly loyal to So guys, isn't this really obvious who Julius Malema was talking to or which people he was referring to? You know, EFF has a lot of public figures, guys. We all know that people who have a lot of influence on social media likes of Nklozi, Naleji Chira and others, you know. So they are very vocal on Twitter. Now, listen to what Julius Malema said on that speech. Malema... We must ask ourselves why those who claim to be our comrades silent and their wives likes a tweet from people who say joining MKP is the most solid and sound decision ever. Why is Malema monitoring Twitter history of other people's wives? Wow, guys. Yo, I'm really shocked by Julius Malema's words. You know, he's not even monitoring other people's wives. Yo, like this man is really hurt and we can all see it, you know. And to really doing follow-ups on someone's wife, guys, I feel like it's really uh, un un inappropriate. You know, he should just keep those kind of statements to himself and face the person that he's attacking like a man. If he is talking about Nklozi, he should just say it straight that he does not trust Nklozi. Why is Nklozi at this time where the EFF is on its darkest days, you know, not saying anything on the social media, you know, this and this question by Julius Malema, guys, we have been asking ourselves that, you know, we have been asking ourselves, why isn't Lozi quiet? Why hasn't he said anything about this whole issue, this so, this whole saga of Floyd Shivambu, or use his influence, you know, to defend the EFF, you know? I know that's the the question that we've all been asking ourselves, but what Julius Malema, the way that Julius Malema addressed this whole entire situation just made things worse, you know, for the EFF. I feel like at this moment, Julius Malema needs to take some days off, you know, so that he can think this whole situation through be before he even make matters worse, you know, because you can clearly see that the person that was standing on that stage talking and addressing the fighters you know was the emotional Julius Malema even even his voice when he talks it's shaking you know you can clearly see Guti we are bored Lalom Jida guys you know he's still trying to get off things off his chest you know he does not directly talk about Fred Shivambu because he knows how much damage it might do you know but you can clearly see that Julius Malema has a lot, you know. He is overwhelmed by a lot, you know. Left, right and center problems. MKP has really made Julius Malema, you know, lose, look sweat, you know. He, it made Julius Malema even go crazy, you know. Julius Malema was, stress, was already stressing about uh, 
losing voters and everything the next thing he he's stressing about deputy president of the eff so guys it just gets worse and worse and worse now someone on twitter went out and said and advised comrade didn't lose to do something he said dear my brother dr buisen includes you must submit your resignation first thing tomorrow here is why and then he dropped videos and videos of comrade Nkosi why he should leave the EFF, you know. And it's pretty much obvious. And right now we are anticipating that Nkosi is going to leave the EFF anytime soon. Because obviously what Julius Malema did was to embarrass him. He really embarrassed him. And we feel like he should have, you know, held a meeting with uh, comrade Nkosi instead of doing such things publicly. Because it just kind of degrade the EFF's reputation that... The EFF comrades, you know, do not have um, likes of Lohotla where they address their personal matters instead of, you know, addressing them publicly and humiliating another fellow fighter in on a public platform who's still under the EFF, you know. So this kind of stuff and comments from people will make Nkosi go crazy also. He will be like, how can my own leader disrespect, disrespect me like that on a public platform? Am I still going to respect him if I remain at the EFF? So it just kind of seems like Julius Malema was showing Comrade Nkosi exit door. That's how it seemed like because most people, that's how they are seeing it right now. And you might even find out that Nkosi was not even thinking about leaving the EFF or he just didn't know what to say about this whole entire Floyd situation. So Julius Malema, you are really fumbling, bro. You are really fumbling. I know that Nkosi might, might have his own might have his own stuff you know that is going through but for you just to, to just to jump to conclusions without gathering facts guys it just shows that you are really going through a lot you know you are really going through you know the heart heartbreak of losing your fellow brother because you used to go publicly and say Floyd is my brother I respect Floyd Floyd can always dethrone me to, uh, from my position and I wouldn't be offended but right now you feel really betrayed and you are also affecting the people who might have best interest at heart for the EFF, Comrades and Closey. What if Comrade and is not like Floyd Shivam? Because you are more closer to Floyd Shivam, but you now feel like Closey will also backstep me. That's why you see no value in Closey anymore. You just even attack him publicly without gathering facts. I just feel like Julius Malema on this particular one, he was wrong because he's not certainly sure of what he's speaking about. He must not forget that the person that he's addressing is still a fighter. And some of these comments by Julius Malema will affect him negatively and how people in the EFF you know, view him in the long run even if he remains in the EFF so Julius Malema he's really fumbly and I just hope that he has someone who's advising him because this situation is about to escalate you know and he must stop talking about Floyd Shivambu because when Floyd Shivambu responds it's not gonna be nice guys I know that Floyd might know some darkest things about Julius Malema that we don't even know about and when he starts uh, spilling beans it's not gonna be nice so Julius Malema must just watch out before he make matters worse thank you so much for watching this video guys your thoughts on the comment section below what you think and do not forget to subscribe for more interesting videos on my channel